reason a market will fail could be due to imperfect competition. Take the case of a monopoly, for instance. Because of its power as the only supplier, a monopolist will not only ask a higher price for the product compared to a firm in a more competitive market, but it will also produce a lower quantity of the product. It's a triple whammy. Not enough is produced, and what is produced comes at a higher price, and the absence of competition often leads to technical inefficiency. If imperfect competition is the result of efficiency considerations, where a superior firm outperforms inefficient competitors, it's best for government not to interfere. However, in other cases, government can and should take action. Dominant firms sometimes resort to dark, anti-competitive practices, making it difficult for smaller but equally efficient firms to succeed or survive. Some sort of action is needed to promote fair trade practice, and government can make use of competition policies through its regulatory function in the economy. For example, government can ensure that entry into the market is free. The firms do not collude or scheme together to set prices that are either too high, giving them outrageous profits, or that are too low, forcing smaller competitors out of business. Government can also act to split up highly concentrated industries, promoting greater competition. And if government is successful with these measures, it will, over time, lead to lower prices and a higher, more efficient level of output and steadier economic growth. In the case of a public sector or state monopoly, the government can increase competition in the market by granting licenses to other firms. In the case of a natural monopoly, where the cost of setting up a new provider is too large, the government can use legislation to force the monopoly to decrease the price of its product.